Do, do, do. Give everybody about 60 more seconds. Where's, uh, wait, let me make sure. Where's my reset? Um, I think he had a meeting with a client. Oh, okay. Yeah, he making money. So y'all stuck with me tonight. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, well, um, I want to welcome everybody to the call. Hope everybody had a productive week. And we're getting ready to move into the weekend. And, you know, before we get started, for those who just attending for the first time or haven't attended in a while, um, this is the travel platform we like to use to show you how to market your business. Because at the end of the day, guys, it's all about leads. And leads lead to sales and sales leads to money. Is that fair for everybody to want to make a little bit of that, right? So um, my name is Jamal Stevens. I've been in the travel business for about six years, and I love it. I mean, you have to pull me out of this kicking and screaming. So before we get started, um, we like to start, you know, with 15 minutes of testimonials, anything that you achieved in your business, any roadblocks, any new client acquisition, any trips you may be taking, any trips that your clients took and um, shared on social media, anything that got you excited about your business this week. So who wants to go first for $20? For twenty dollars, I go first. All right, go ahead. I just want the twenty dollars. <laughs> go ahead, Kevin. We got you. Well, it's, it's it's ironic. We were pitching the business to someone, and now he wants to book a cruise, like a fundraiser cruise, with you know a, a band and all that kind of stuff, and. And so that, that we just got that yesterday. So we're starting the, the original, the, from the very beginning, the process is to get that going. Congratulations. What cruise line are you guys going to use? Carnival. Carnival. Okay. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Anybody else? Where am I, $20? We, we, we're not finished the class yet, Kevin. Oh, okay. I thought I was getting twenty dollars for going first. Okay. <laughs> He's about his money, guys. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? Hey, y'all. This is April. How y'all doing? Hey, April. Um, great news. Always good news. Getting more clients. So I've gotten a couple more uh, group trips and referrals. So really excited about that. Yay! Well, congratulations. How are you getting these clients outside of the referrals? Are these social media clients, you know, where you fellowship at or just, you know? So one person reached out to me um, because apparently they found my name on Google and I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. And then the other two people are referrals from people who went on previous group trips that I booked for for them or their friends. Man, doesn't that feel good to make some money with somebody you don't even know? Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Anybody else? Well, I'll go. Um, I, I got an inbox on Friday night when I was driving. Does anybody look at their phone while they're driving? Nobody does besides me. Well, I break the law sometimes. 
But um, long story short, me and this young lady went back and forth in the inbox until I got home, and she ended up spending $3,500 with me on a seven-day cruise that's leaving in April. And then nice. she reached out to me and said, are you going to shout me out on Facebook? <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Uh, we added three more cabins to the group cruise I have for a birthday and booked another young lady to Chic. You know, she's excited. And um, just been doing like many of you, just working on quotes and cranking them out. So if I heard correctly, you look at your phone while you drive and you text message while you drive, but you made the money team. I break all the laws, Kevin. I'm a lawbreaker. I'm not proud of it. I shouldn't do that. And don't you guys do that. <laughs> uh, so, Jamal, I, I have a question. Is it, is it how many more minutes do I have before you, uh, everybody gets started? Do your thing. We don't have no time limit. Go ahead. <laughs> So, you know, late, lately, recently, I've been, you know, posting a lot of questions in the uh, travel agent group. And so someone recommended that I ask the question, you know, on our call. Um, and I'm looking to see if these particular individuals are on. They ain't on yet. But um, so one of the questions that I had was when we start getting an abundance of um, clients coming in at one particular time, do we have the do you guys have any particular systems in play for you not to get behind? So, for example, let's say, you know, Jamal, you post something about another client today, and just it seems like everyone was like, you know what, I just got paid. I know I'm getting – I just done my taxes. I know I'm getting ready to get a refund. And, like, seven to ten people hit you up today. You know, what are the systems that you have in place so you don't get behind – uh, and let's say this happens, you know, back to back for a couple of days and you're like, okay, hey, you know, I know some people put out quotes faster than others. Uh, myself personally, I try to get everybody to submit a client profile form and I tell them um, 48 to 72 hours um, before I receive, before they receive word back uh, on a quote. But is there any other systems that people have in play or that you guys have in play um, just so you kind of don't get behind when you have an abundance of clients coming at you at one time. Does everybody understand the question? Does that make sense? Makes a lot of sense. Anybody else want to answer the question before um, we tackle it? Well, um, this is Irvin. This is this is this is Irvin. Irvin just hold on. Hello. Take somebody watching Fred Sanford. Hold on. Let me make sure everybody muted. No, this is Lisa, but Irvin was speaking on me. I'm going back on mute. Oh, no. Okay. Well, you go first. You the lady. Uh, can you hear me? I'm sorry. My Zoom just went away from my screen. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Um, I did see that question. Um, April, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. I can't remember names. <laughs> I did see that question, so thank you for bringing it back up. And it seems like you're on an amazing track by having a profile because, of course, you have to have a tracking record somewhere on what the needs are, um, you know, the budget number of people, confirmed dates, that kind of stuff. You also, I don't know if you have on your profile sheet, but you may want to ask them how soon are they looking to put a deposit in or how soon are they looking to book. That's important. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. Because say if you have John Smith, he'll be up tonight. He want to go to Jamaica in December, but he don't want to put no quote down until Uncle Sam giving his refund and he has earned income credit. Well, Uncle Sam ain't dropping no refunds to earn income credit until towards the end of February. So therefore, you may want to put him over, you know, under somebody else who's ready to drop this week, if that makes sense. So that's one of the things you kind of want to look at, too. Um, as far as clients coming here and there, you have to kind of understand if they're really, really trying to book or are they really just using you as another reference to it. It's comparing you to somebody else. Because sometimes clients we get, they will use us as a reference tool and compare us to Travelocity or Priceline or, heck, to another travel agent. So I ask those 
serious questions. Have you been looking? Who else have you reached out to? What is, you know, what are those sites? And I actually go to those sites myself and see if they're telling them the truth. Or if they tell me, well, I found it on X, Y, and Z for this much. Screenshot, show it to me. So um, those are some things you want to do too. That way you can kind of see if they're pulling your leg or if they really need your service. So hope that helps. Yes, thank you so much. That, those were some very good tips. Yeah, that was good. Thanks, Alisa. Now, Irving, you was going to say something? Yeah, um, Alisa kind of touched on it, but um, one of the other thing is you may need to look at the order of when are they trying to travel. And what I mean by that is if you have someone that's traveling in May, that's that's almost a rush order on you because they don't have the limitation where well, they don't have the access time it will take to make payments. So that you would need to tell them kind of right away how much they need to pay now because they're only going to have a short window to make their final payment. So that's something else you may want to look at when you're getting them back to back to back. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Um, Cause I will. Yeah. Say, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, April. No, I was just saying, thank you. That was, that was some good. That was another. Uh, good. Yeah. Cause they, they will shop us, you know, they're looking around. There's no different than us shopping. And um, I think one of the things Alyssa and Irvin said was, you know, how soon are you ready to make deposits um, and how soon they ready to travel? And, you know, I just learned something, you know, I was under the impression of first come first serve, you know, regardless if it's a trip to Asheville, South Carolina, I mean, North Carolina, or a trip to St. Lucia, you know, I just feel like service is something I want to provide. But then again, like you said, April, you'll find yourself kind of, in front of the computer for 12 hours and you're busy, you're not really productive. You know what I mean? Anybody else? Well, it's 8.13 and if no one has anything else to say, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And you know, me and Maurice were talking and, and I want you guys really to understand that content is out there for us is anybody having a problem with content? I mean, if you are, that's fine. You know, but I think, you know, with the, the training last week, we talked about that um, social media strategy. And I want to touch on that for a while, you know, where we have a 70% to 30% ratio of engaging versus sales, you know, and 30% sales um, with promotions and other services. So me personally, I love content. Content drives me so much that I give it to other people that may be on my team, you know, cause I see some people trying, some people need, need a little push more than others. And, but I find myself in a management trap sometimes cause I'm like, man, there's so much good stuff out here. You know, I can't post it all. So I, 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 I give it to them like here, share this on your page, share this on your page. So in one of the, um, the article that we, we talked about last, last week, you know, one of the things that they talked about is my followers can expect to see content like polls, inspiring stories, quotes, education, did you know content, testimonials, and Facebook lives. Now, I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Facebook, but I, I did a Facebook live. I did it. I, I meant to do it on Monday, but I was kind of tired, but I did it on Tuesday. And, and I want to share with you some other things you could do to create content. You know, the same way we spend on quotes, you don't want to spend too much time with content because now you're trying to figure out what's the best thing to post, what should I do? So it's nice to have a plan in place. And I think this social media strategy plan was great. And, and, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to share with you some of the things you can do. Um, can you guys see my screen? If you can, give me a one if you can. Okay, thanks, Dynamic Debbie. I appreciate that. So now... I'm going to use my Facebook page as an example. Everything I'm doing tonight, I'm, I'm probably going to post on my page, which I shouldn't, but hey, I, I'll go ahead and take one for the team. So now this is Jet Setter. Anybody familiar with Jet Setter? I mean, we have so many, so many ways to get content, okay? So Jet Setter is one I get in my email, and I love some of these articles. And as you can see, they have them all down here all down here look at this 
all this stuff. You don't have to do none. You know, I wouldn't post it all, you know, as far as, you know, what's out here, but I'm just trying to show you some of the stuff that they have. So if you came to the top, you see one that says trip ideas. Everybody sees the one that says trip ideas right here? This right here is useful content that you can use. Now, typically what I see a lot of agents do, and, it, and it's not a wrong thing to do, they may post a whole article, but um, you know, like I know, the attention span of people is about seven seconds. And some people will read it. April, you will probably read it. You know, I, I expect April to read it. You know, I, I think so highly of April. I think she's very intelligent. You know, she, she'll go through that article. But for people like myself, I want to see pictures and I just want to see bullet points. So I'm going to show you how you can just do this very, very simple, okay? Very, very simple, very simple. So the first one we saw, well, first of all, I clicked on that trip ideas, okay? And if you come down to the bottom, you see it has load more stories, okay? Now, let me move this. I got this stuff on my screen, guys, so bear with me. Now, you see they have 42 pages. Everybody see this? They have 42 pages of stuff that you can post. Give me one second here, guys. Make sure everybody's muted. I think somebody's watching Night Rider. Oh, here we go. All right. So, we got 42 pages, but you don't have to go through 42 pages. I want to show you how you can do this very quick and efficient. All right. So one of the things we talked about was education. All right. Trip ideas. 10 unexpected family vacation ideas. Right. That's a great article. So watch this right here. Let me show you how you can do this. Everybody familiar with their snippet tool? If you are, give me a one. If you're not, give me a two. Okay. So watch this right here. I'm not going to do 10. I'm just going to do one. So I come to my Facebook page. I come here. Let's close her down. Close this down. Let's do this. Post that there. Boom. Unexpected family ideas. Family vacation ideas. One, two, three, four. We're just going to do four. All right? And I'm going to put your friendly travel agent. You know, I like people to know what I do. All right? And that's one thing you want to do. You want to let people know what you do. If they don't know what you do, they'll see it. And guess what? They'll go somewhere else to buy. I see it all the time. So I've never been to none of these places. But the work's already done for me, OK? Everybody see what I'm doing here, right? That's all I'm doing. Now, I want somebody to act, tell me, is this hard? I'm a thief, right? Everybody sees that, right? Can everybody hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. I'm sorry I'm boring, but you know, I just want to give you guys just something simple you can do. Uh-oh. Now, I'm just going to grab, and you see I'm not reading, I'm not doing anything. Now, don't be like me. Somebody may ask you about one of these places. And if they ask you about one of these places, somebody tell me what you can do. Nobody going to tell me? Research it. Go to Google. <laughs> exactly. Now, let's put the icing on the cake. Let's go to Google. I'm going to type in family travel. I'm going to grab an image. You see, I'm not doing anything hard, right? Now, if you don't have the snippet tool, I highly suggest you get it. Now, where's my snippet tool at? It's not showing it to me. I'm asking y'all if y'all know how to use it, and I can't even find it. Give me one second, guys. All right, here we go. I cannot find my snippet tool. Where's my snippet tool? Oh, there we go. It was hiding from me. 
Here we go. Doesn't look like that way. Here we go. All I'm gonna do is just snip this right here, post it on my page. Just button that up. Who timing me? Some, did anybody time me? Nobody times me. I thought somebody it didn't take me. but a, um what maybe two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. So, but that's educational, right? Now, I'm not saying post all day, but all I did, did I make the content up? No, right? And I can add hashtags too. Everybody know how to add hashtags, right? So I'm gonna show you guys just something real simple you could do because right now we in wave. We in the wave. So we gotta plant these seeds. So I know sometimes like somebody would grab this whole article and post the article. And nothing's wrong with that. But does everybody read everything? I, I don't. I'm going to be real transparent. I don't. Everybody does? Okay. All right. So now another one I could also do, and I had these all picked out. So let me see here. Packing. Here we go. This is another one. I'm not going to give you 10. How many you think I should give? Three. There you go. I can go to my um my LinkedIn. Uh oh, I don't even want to type LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Here we go. But I'm gonna just use Facebook for now. But you get the point I'm trying to make. Now. Oh man, yes, done. Come on, why are you doing this? Here we go. Well, LinkedIn will take me a little longer. So I do the same thing. Paste, pack and stick, mistake to avoid. That goes under the education. I'm educating you on what to avoid while you're packing. And this is not hard. This is so easy. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Your taste is too expensive. That's a good one. I'm just doing this one, two, three. You said three, right? Boom. It tastes too expensive. We're going to grab another one. Anybody ever did this before? Nobody ever packed anything that they never worn? Hello? Nope. Maybe. Let me see, you didn't bring travel size versions of your favorite cosmetics. And that's just something I do. You know, you can try to find a way to make it fit for you. Your, oh, Yvonne said all the time. So now remember, you can start a poll with this, right? Have anybody ever done one of these? Pack stuff, your taste is too expensive. You pack stuff you never worn before. Or you could just use one question, but you don't have to make it hard, right? You want to keep it simple. Your friendly travel agent. You know what? We're going to add hashtags with this one, okay? We're going to add some hashtags. So I'm going to come here. And I'm going to type in packing. Packing. They go a picture right there. Let's scroll up. Well, that's look like it's in Mandarin, so that's not gonna work. Mm, well, I can use some of these. But you see, I'm not recreating the wheel. I'm just doing something very, very simple. And just imagine if you did this for the whole week where you had content constantly on your page or in groups, letting people know you, you the actual travel expert, right? So now I got to grab a picture. 
you know what? I'm going to make this real easy. This thing so easy, I don't even know what to do sometimes. I, I, I don't know. Well, I don't want to grab his pitch. I don't want to steal too much. We just, oh, here come a better one. Here come a better one. I don't know that. That don't look like it's okay. That's cool. But you guys kind of get the point I'm trying to make as far as content, how to grab it. And I want to do something more practical with you versus just talking to you to kind of give you an idea of how simple this is. But I want everybody to think about this. Anybody familiar with Jim Rohn? Anybody? Yeah, I'm familiar. A little bit, okay. He says a saying, what's simple to do is also simple not to do. Because I know, you know, we can get on social media. I know for me, and I kind of get distracted because, you know, I got everything else going on. I'm scrolling down the timeline. I'm playing on my phone, blah, blah, blah. You get the point I'm trying to make. But if you got a little guideline and you got somewhere you can go get your content at, guess what? It's real simple for you. Look at this one. 12 packing hats to save space in your bag. I should have grabbed that picture. This stuff you can post. Like you could post a whole article, but I don't like to keep it simple. So, you know, the person that isn't trying to read it all, you know, and then you know, going to the next thing. And this this is a great one right here. Let me let me go back. Like I see a lot of people talking about Aquarius. What, what's what's the sign in January? Somebody can tell me that one. What's the sign in January? What, what's what's that sign? Capricorn? Capricorn. Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about that stuff, but um okay. where to travel. It is February according to your zodiac sign. You know, your dream vacation according to your zodiac sign. So just imagine we take, what y'all say, Capricorn? That's where we at right now? When's your birth? Somebody give me a birthday. I need my birth. Huh? Do Leo. There we go. Leo. I take this Leo. Boom. Put that there. And I'm doing this right on the fly. And you, and you guys see, it don't take me no time, right? But I can send this to myself in my inbox. And while I'm sitting there, I can download the picture, post it to my Instagram as well, right? Leo, traits, wants to go somewhere where they can feel sexy. Who's a Leo? That's you, Alyssa? No, sir. My birthday is in 11 days. Aquarius all day. Oh, okay, Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> My fault. I know if I get that stuff wrong, boy, people come after you. <laughs> you know, it's only because it's a special birthday. That's all I'm, I'm excited about. That's it. I got you. I got you. Let me see. Your dream vacation according to your zodiac sign. I could post that on my page. And ask, what is your zodiac sign? What is your zodiac sign? Comment below. And I can go grab something real simple. But all you want to do is create engagement. And remember, we talked about engagement. You guys remember that? I feel like I'm teaching a class or something. Man, I'm going to slow down. But you get what I'm trying to say, right? I'm just going to grab what they have. Yes, sir, we do. Yeah. So I go grab that. Boom. We're going to get us some hashtags again. Matter of fact, I got another page up. Where is it at? Hashtags. <laughs> Bill. The work's already done for us, guys. That's the point I'm trying to make, okay? Now, let's move forward. 
Now, when you also posting, you want to have a call to action. Is everybody familiar with the call to action? Well, call to action is you telling your audience what to do. So I said, comment below. That's my call to action. So I'll give you an example of another call to action. Let me go here. Uh, where we go, where we go, where we go. Okay. This will lead us right into the next thing we got to do. Now, I've been getting, people have been asking me how I do those videos. <laughs> and we're going to talk about it tonight. But before we talk about it, I'm going to go ahead and just do something real fast so you can see what a call to action is. Let me see, Google. Somebody give me the name of a property you like. Well, that's cool. I'll go fast. That looks nice. That looks like somebody. Hey. Say again. Secrets. Secrets. All right. One of my favorite spots. Any particular secrets? Aquamile. Secrets Aquamile. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but yeah. I knew what you were talking about because I mess it up all the time. So I'm gonna grab this picture, just something real simple. I don't like having pictures with people in it. That's just my preference. But I love to see some water. Now, when I snip this, I don't want oyster name in there because we don't want them going to oyster. So do not put the name in there, all right? Um, so this is gonna be my call to action. I'm gonna put something real simple. Now, if you don't know what to say, this is what we're going to do. We ain't even got to make this hard. I can go right to their website. Oh, man. Translate. Nope. English. Translate. All right. Um, let me see here. Just make this real easy, guys. Boom, secrets, boom, beaches. All right. Now, did I write that? No. No. Oh, I already got this typed up for y'all. I don't even know why I'm tripping. We'll leave that right there. Because I don't want it to be too long. I already got this typed up. I don't even know why I'm tripping. All right, boom. <laughs> I just got to change that secrets. Now, how long is this taking me? Just a few minutes. Yeah. So this is my call to action right here. Contact me for all your travel needs. That's my contact, I mean my um, call to action. I want you to contact me. You're gonna look at it, but I want you to contact me and I want you to call me. Don't call April, don't call Alyssa. Who I want y'all to call? Me. I'm just going to post that. And I didn't do anything special. I already had this. Where are we at? I already had this already typed, already typed up. Already typed up. All I got to do is just cut and paste. And we all can do that. I already got hashtags, everything, cut and paste. So now you're being more intentional about your content. You're not trying to figure out what to post because it's so much stuff. And sometimes you can feel overwhelmed because it's so much stuff and you don't know what to post. And you know the old saying, a confused mind does what? Nothing. All right? I'm just going to post this. So it's going to be post, post, post tonight on my page. And I'll go back and fix it. But And if you guys want to take this stuff, take it off my page and post it on your page. 
So I'm doing the work for you real easy. So a lot of people have been asking about these videos. All right, so let me close down some of these windows. Close down that window. And we're gonna leave that up, okay. So does anybody not do the videos? Anybody? Ask your question. I'm learning. I didn't hear your question. Yeah, anybody know how to do, make the videos to put on your page? Yeah, I do. Okay, so Tasha does. Jolin knows. Jolin knows. Okay, cool. All right. So, my fault. I didn't even see y'all commenting. All right, here we go. So, I like selling royalties, okay? I love selling royalties. Real used to be my properties, but I love the royalties. So, Alyssa says chic. She likes chic. We talked about chic in the past. So, you see, I went to the actual Royalties TV. I didn't go to another travel agency. I didn't go to someone else's picture. I mean, someone else's page. I went straight to the vendor page. And you see, Player Resorts got them, Palladium got them, Dreams has them, Viceroy has them, the Wii U, Planet Hollywood. All of them have, a lot of them have their own channel. I don't want to say all of them. So we're going to click on this. Let me turn this down. And you guys see this is about 50, 50, 50 seconds, okay? And I already skimmed through this to make sure it doesn't say www such and such contact us. But a lot of these videos may have that. So once I see the video I have, I mean I want, I come here to share, okay? And I hit copy. Everybody see that? If I'm going too fast, let me know. All right, so I come here and I already have this bookmark. I go to bookmark and I go to, where we at, where we at? YouTube downloader, all right? And you're gonna get all kind of pop-ups. You know, it's not gonna hurt your computer. It's a work computer, so it, it hasn't hurt mine. So just bear with me all this other stuff. So it's already right there because I've done this video quite a few times. I hit paste. And I hit start. You don't have to click anything else on this page. It seems like when you do something, when you have an audience, it takes a little longer. But typically, it doesn't take. There we go. It doesn't take that long. Now, I try not to download anything that's going to be a big file. If it's over 25 MBs, you can't email it. Let me see. I save pictures, and I can add music and text logo of me, too. You can also. So I didn't know you could do all of that. Yeah, see, that's 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 advanced for some of you. That's that, that's advanced for you. And I just hit download. There go my video. And now I can come to my folder where my video is, chic. And I can take that video. What is this? The ultimate experience. That's what we're going to name that post. And you see, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not no smarter than anybody else. See, I want you guys to understand that we don't lack the resources. The resources. We don't lack those. We just got to be more resourceful. Can everybody agree? I put that there. I'm going to say, what did I say I was going to say? Anybody can remind me? Yeah, you can put your logo and all that stuff on it. How you do that, I would have to figure it out. What's in YouTube Editor? Y'all heard Tasha, it's on YouTube Editor. Who doesn't know how to use YouTube Editor? If you don't, that's fine. We can get Maurice and Jamal to do a um, training on it. Well, what I was going to suggest... I got something even better. You can just go to YouTube and say how to use YouTube better. Amen. And you can look at it whenever you want to. I go grab these hashtags. Oh, we're gonna just use this right here. Chic pool and content capture the poolside atmosphere and luxury offering. Oh, we ain't putting all that stuff right there. But 
I can go grab a hashtag. I want it more. But I want you guys to think about this. Am I recreating the book? No. It's simple to do. And if you feel like you, you it's, it's hard to do, I want you to just think about it like this. Mess it up until you get it right. That's all I'm doing. I'm messing it up until I get it right. Let me see. Discover the best and all includes. Let me see. Why is it at chic? And I really want you guys just to see that all you got to do is just let people know what you do because people want our product. But we just have to, you know, make sure we put it out there in front of everybody. And I just want you guys just to see this. So does everybody see how to do the videos? I'm going to do it one more time with another property, okay? I know I went kind of fast. So I come back here. I go to YouTube. YouTube not hard to use. It's real easy. It's real simple. And that chic video, by the way, that gets them to buy. That's a real good video. I'm gonna grab another one. No, I'm gonna grab one. Lucia. I got that one already. I want one I don't got. Oh, Antigua. Antigua. Wait, wait, let me see. Antigua. Right here. The bungalows or the just a regular one or the junior suite. All right, we'll go to the bungalows. Bungalows. See, I don't want nobody calling me for these bungalows talking about they got $3,000. <laughs> but we'll get them somewhere. I just click on that, hit paste. And you see the video, the um, website right out up here, y2mate.com. But you can Google YouTube to MP4. And you can find one. There's a lot of them out there. Now, you see this one is 29 megs. I wouldn't download that one. But that's kind of huge to send in an um, email file unless you're doing Dropbox. But I just do the 15 meg, download it. There you go. And the great thing about it, all the, vid the two videos I have downloaded, let me go here, downloads. Type. See, I got a whole bunch of them. Sheep, see three of those, Dreams, Jade Mountain, The Hideaway. I got them all. So think about it. If you did something educational, right? You did your poll. You probably did you something where your client came back or, or the client getting ready to go. And you did your video. Guess what? Now you got a little system going. That's five days of content. Along with your regular life, you know, what you're doing, you're checking in, whatever you may do. But we don't have to recreate the wheel, guys. Um, anybody have any questions before we move forward? Anybody? Nobody. Great. Cool. So, Me, I prefer to sell Jamaica. Seems like everybody wants to go, so I'm going to sell it to them. Now, is everybody familiar with JTB? Okay, great. So, I already had this pulled up. Now, they did all the work for me. Why visit Jamaica? What are you waiting for? You guys know the drill. Copy. Paste. I'm not going to grab all of these. But guess what? I can just grab the people.
Now, does anybody think they have a problem doing this right here? It's an answer for the class. I mean, a question for the class, guys. Pretty easy. Exactly. Now, does anybody have groups? Like groups, and I'll show you what I mean by that. And you don't have to post this all day. You can set this up where you're doing it at least once a day. I tell agents all the time, at least post once a day about your business. So I'm just going to do four of these. And I'm going to go grab a picture. They already got the picture for me. Let me see here. Hmm. I'm going to make this real easy on myself. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a picture. I'm, I'm not, I'm not making this hard, right? We're going to do this one. And typically I kind of look at pictures and decide which one I want. This one coming out the water, this is a good one. I think this would be a great one to post inside the group that I have. Nah, that, nah I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't need nobody to get no trouble. So let me go here. www.facebook. Okay, so I'm going to go to my group. They ready to go. Birthday in Mobe. The getaway in Mobe. And I may post in my group. And basically, this is a group that I set up for a group of clients that want to go to Jamaica. They're going to Jamaica. But I don't want to give the information to the group leader because the group leader got to always contact the other people back and forth, back and forth. So what I do. I make the group, I put all the information in the group about the property after we select it, when we go on, how much it costs. But I also put content in here just to kind of get them excited, keep them engaged, right? So I'm going to put that picture right there. I'm going to go grab this stuff off my page. Oh, man, come on. Here we go. I'm going to post this right here. And I'm going to hashtag the birthday getaway. Make it personalized for her. I think that's her. Yeah, yeah, Pam's birthday. And Mobe. Boom. Why visit Jamaica? What are you waiting for? We're going to take the put that there. Uh-oh. Post. Now, since we've been on the, on, the, um, on the class, I'm not sure how many posts I've done, but I've done quite a few. But all I want to do is share with you guys Content is everywhere. I just showed you two places. Because if you go back to this JTB stuff, uh oh. And it's just me, I want to sell more Jamaica. They got all kinds of stuff the cuisine, the food. I can just post about food for a week. And it doesn't have to be just from Jamaica, it could be food from different places around the world. You're not selling anything. You're getting content out there for your page. Then I could come in with some stuff I want to sell. And everybody knows what to do when you're trying to sell stuff. You want to create that call to action. Now, this is what I want you to think about. You can't do this one time. You can't. You've got to be consistent. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Consistency is, is, is key for any business. 
And I want to share something today that I saw, and I thought it was too cool. My girl, April, she always be on cutting edge with stuff she posts. Let me see here. I thought this was so funny. Can everybody see that? Yes, no, maybe. Yes. And in, in, in the article that we did last week, they talked about, you know, how do you want to engage your, your, your audience? Do you want to be funny? I think that is very funny. Actually, I'm going to steal it. I'm not going to share it. I want you to think about this. I'm not going to share it. And I'm not going to post it right after she posts it. I don't want us to look like cookie cutters. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, we have about eight more minutes. I know I've talked enough. Does anybody have any questions? Um, Jamal? Yes. So we see that people are commenting and liking your picture. Um, can you just go and show what, what people are saying? And which one, with April? No, not no, on what you posted on your page. Well, somebody po said something already? Are you not seeing notification? I'm, I'm doing a class. It's kind of hard. I, you know, I'm trying. You know, I couldn't look over there. They look at my notes. Well, I haven't gotten much engagement yet. That's what you're talking about. These right here. Yeah. So I guess it maybe may have it was been in your group. Oh, my group. Yeah, they're a rowdy bunch in there. So I just let her, you know, me and her planning a trip. I'm handling all the details. You're talking about this stuff? You know what it was? I think there were people uh, inboxing him about uh, the stuff. Because oh, your notification was coming in. Yeah. Oh. Already. Say that one more time, Tasha. I just said, look at that already. No, no, she she saw something in a group. I post in a lot of groups, a lot of business groups outside okay. of just my page. But, but you know, today I post in a group. But even still, you're getting traction from what it is that you're putting oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you, you got to be consistent with it, though, because, you know, you never post for likes. You know, you, you can have 2,500 likes. That, that doesn't equate to revenue. You got to be consistent so people are always knowing you buy real estate in their mind about what you do. You know, um, like you, you want to have facts, you want to be fun, you know, have fun with it. Um, you want to have engaging stuff. And, you know, we always say you don't want to be bye, 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 bye. And, and sometimes when I start these groups, I may put, you know, other agents in here to show them what I'm doing. So, you know, hey, like, look, this is what I do. I start the group for the people. Let me see. I have group. Yep. Yeah, Hootsuite was working. I wish they'd bring it back. <laughs> but um, I, I start the group and I add, I may say I might add Tasha in here just so she can see what I'm doing. They have an idea. But yeah, I just, they put all these people in the group. I didn't put them in the group. But that's another way I acquire customers. Because if those people see what I'm doing, they may have friends in their network. Guess what? They may want trips or they may refer me out. Just like April said, she's getting more referrals. So uh, what time we have? It's 8.55. Jamal, can I ask a question? This is Angel. Hey. Um, hello, everyone. Um, actually, I've been uh, part of uh, Jamal's team for a while. I have not booked a trip. But I, I've learned that consistency definitely is. I think I've been doing much better with that. But my question is, for example, looking where you have, where it says seen by 10 people. So just trying to see what traffic you're getting. Are you able to see who is looking at your posts? Not on, not on your um, regular page, but in my group. This is an actual group right here. Okay. So, so if it's something that is public, um, for example, if I were, in, if I were to look in, and post something um someone looks at it and it says seen by 10 and i press on seen by 10 um it 
I, I know it's in a group. Publicly, I wouldn't be able to see it if it's not like, I wouldn't be able to see if it's not in a group. I'm trying to reach out to like somebody that may have seen it, may not want to say something at the time. So if I inbox them high, um, you know, I'm a travel agent. If I put myself out there, is that possible to do? Yeah, yeah. But you won't see, you'll see who liked it, but you can't see who's seen it if it's on your public page. So say for instance, um, I use my page for example. Um, let me see here, somebody. Well, the people that like this are agents, but well, she's not an agent. Like I may reach out, how are you doing? I ain't trying to sell you nothing. I'm just engaging with you. Or I may comment in the post, thanks for liking my post, Alyssa. Or, you know, Alyssa and April are agents. You know, but I'm, I'm engaging with them. And when you do the engagement and they start engaging back with you, they may not engage back with you. You know, that it's just nature of the beast. But it shows Facebook. It is, I don't know how Facebook works as far as algorithm-wise, but when they start commenting on it and they start talking back with you, now they start seeing more stuff on your feed. That's what I was told. But I don't get a lot of likes. You 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 can't look at the likes as, as the measure of, of business. They can like your stuff all day. If you go in there right now and say, "Look, I'm looking for the best place to eat fried chicken," you'll get a bunch of comments, right? Then you come back with what you really want them to see. So it don't have to be about your business. You want these people to know that you actually, um, yeah, you don't get paid for likes. Yeah, exactly. So if I post something that I, I know I want engagement on, like I post a picture of my brother, for some reason, people like my brother. I post a picture of my brother. Everybody comment on it, right? Matter of fact, does it let me go down? Yeah, everybody comment. I got some likes. Did they like that, right? They ain't like my Gregory Ivey. They ain't like him. But I can come back and post stuff that I want them to see. I can come down here and start talking to them. Guess what? When I start posting stuff, it's highly likely that they'll start seeing stuff in my feed. But at the end of the day, people are looking at you. They take an inventory. They take right. An inventory. Yeah. So, um, yeah, for the most part, just wrapping it up on my end, I, not for the likes, definitely not for the likes. I just wanted to see, because although I, regardless of the likes, wanting to see who's who's trafficking, like who's looking at it? Because again, you know, people will look at your post. They may not even like it, but if you're reaching out to them, you know, sometimes you're just, you know, passing through. So I just wanted to see, you know, if I were able to see who is looking, who may have not said anything for me to say, Hey, you know, so, you know, um, I'm, you know, just putting myself out there. So that's a great question. Got you. Got you. Does okay. anybody know? Cause I don't know if it is April. I mean, I don't it's know. okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure my strategy of gaining, um, client. yeah, that, yeah, that clientele because I've made things public, but I'll talk about that, you know, a little later. Yeah. Learning all these tools, but everything has been helpful. Thank you so much. Hey, no problem. Is this Angel from Savannah? Yes, it is. Hey lady, what's up? I know that was you. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's Angel, everybody. Good friend from high school. We're going to help her out. Anybody else? Hey, Jamal, I have a question hey. for her. Go ahead. Um, we said her name was Angel. I'm sorry. Yes, Angel. Hi, yes. Oh, Hi, Angel. How are you? Great. Thank you. How are you? I'm amazing. I'm um, question for you. Out of curiosity, do you have any... Um, family that's like you know kids that are little by chance um i do maybe like a cousin or niece or nephew i okay. do so what i did one time and i did it with a Disney post. okay i did this with a dish post my five-year-old nephew everyone knows that that little boy is like mine i, I should have probably birthed him because i love him with all my heart so, and he loves his favorite Auntie Riri. So what I did was, yeah, I took a really cute picture of him mm -hmm. and I posted it with a Disney post because Mick is his best friend. He went to Disney. I made it happen for him two years ago. He loves it. And from that post, I got so much traffic on Disney and several Disney bookings. 
So it's kind of something to think about because people love kids, especially a cute picture. And you tie that into travel on your page, I'm sure you'll get a lot of traffic and customers from that. Absolutely. Um, and looking through, I'm always looking for something as Jamal has said, don't, you know, I don't, I try not to spend a lot of time with um, looking for something to post because then again, my mind goes all over the place. So posting something funny, as he says, because sometimes he'll say, oh, that was a good question or posting something funny or something cute because people are always attracted to those things or something that's just kind of totally off the radar. I do find to be you know, very well. So I will definitely try that. I will try that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Someone else was going to say something before we close out? It was me, but I think I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I, I remember now. So um, you get your images from, you know, copy and paste, which is very easy from going to Instagram and stories like that. But we can also get the high resolution um, picture images from the brand central sites that they have available to us. Um, most of all of the resort uh, chains have them, like let's say Blue Diamond, uh, AM Resorts, all those they, they actually have all of the pictures from their resorts and they have the high resolution quality images. So sometimes when we're copying and pasting, it doesn't come across as, as clear as it should sometimes. Um, so that's also um, a way that we can get uh, images out to people. So just wanted to throw that out there. She's absolutely right. Like every vendor has all their own stuff and you know, you can just get your little folder, keep it there, and you'll be so surprised how much stuff you accumulate just downloading, but you, you, you have it, you know, and having it is always good. And like Angel said, I'm very guilty of this. I get distracted with doing other things. That's why I think this um, Facebook um, content calendar, I'm saying the name wrong, um, really helps me. But I like to give stuff to people on my team because I see so much stuff. And if y'all want to take the stuff I post on my page, take it, don't share it, take it, make it yours, repurpose it. You know, we all here to help one another. Um, I didn't get into what I want to get into this week. So next week, we'll get into that. I took too long. I went on a rant. And um, thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. And um, we appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. You too. Thank you.